In Jesus' name, our Savior. Father, we read this passage in which abide a lot of information and intelligence. Help us to inherit it. Help us to understand it. Help us to practice it in order to be saved and receive life and become your friends and you will be our Lord in Jesus name we pray observe and see and let everyone understand it clearly what the word of God show here that we read the word said my sons Keep your father's commandment. And do not reject your mother's teaching. Bind them upon your neck. And bind them in your hearts. It will show you the way when walking. When you lie down, they will watch over you. And when you awake, they will talk with you. This is the work that the Word of God used to do in human life. This is the piece of advice coming from a good mother used to do in a son's life. He who receive it and keep it in his heart while walking when the instruction in his heart used to tell him that this is good, he is going walking, and if it's not good, he tells him also. When you lie down on your bed during the night, everything that you did in the morning time or in the daytime will be passing over your conscience and you will be examining it. And when you woke up, it will be talking with you. That's why a sinner used to recognize himself as a sinful man. He who walk according to the law of the Lord recognize himself. They are filled with joy because they notice that they are practicing the commandment of God and while walking, while going, they are full with joy. Those who 
They are rejoicing because of the witness that the, the practice of commandment is given to them in which that they hope getting reward when the Lord will come. He who doesn't walk according to the commandment of the Lord doesn't have happiness because his heart used to condemn him all the time. While progressing in sinning, he will make reproach to you. So is the constitution of our heart. As is set in each of us life. Joy is with wo those who are practicing the will of God. Because they are filled up with the Holy Spirit. The heavenly power abides in them. And it shows them the right and the unright word that abide in their life. While on the bed, the conscious is uh, observing things. When they woke up in order to walk, the heart is talking to them. I would like to ask a question to you. Whose heart here doesn't condemn or talk to him? And his conscience is not disturbing him at all. Let that one point his finger up. Whose heart used to condemn him or talk to him? Let the latter put up his hands. Everyone is included. God created us perfectly. He creates us in perfect way. And when, while doing imperfection, your heart will give test, will testify. While doing good things, our hearts give also testimony. And the devil used to give us confidence, saying that, Oh, be confident. Nothing will happen against you. And the devil will be listing all the bad examples before you, whether in Bible or in our current daily life. And when you push up by sinning, he will be very happy and say, Okay, you are in. The gospel of God used to direct our foot while walking. The commandment of God abide with us while our on our bed. When you woke up from your bed, everything that you did yesterday will be passing before you, what is good or what is not good. Verse 23 said, The commandment constitutes a light. And also the commandment constitutes a lamp. And the reproofs of discipline are the way of life. So he who receives the commandment of the Lord receives a lamp. And the light that he got from the Lord, may this lamp abide in it. 
And the reproofs of discipline are the way of life. Jesus, hold on me. Didn't Jesus told, tell us something? He said that the kingdom of God will be comparable with the ten virgins. Five are very wise. They receive a lump with fuel, oil. And they, they have in reserve oil. And the lamp are burning. Five other receive lamps without any oil. And the lamps started quenching. And the foolish one asked for the wise girls that gave us some oil. And the wise virgin girls replied, Ours is not sufficient. Go and buy yourself your oil. Before going to fetch some oils, the husband has already come and the wise virgin girls enter the house and everything is blocked. They came and knocked at the door. And they said, who is knocking? They said, oh, those one foolish girls are knocking. And the husband said, I'm already in the chamber, me and my wives. I have never known you, you who are knocking at the door. Away with you. We are among those ten virgin girls. And we receive the lumps. And, and among us abide the five wise and also the five who, who lack wisdom. And we all know that only the wise enter the chamber, the house, when the husband came. The crazy one couldn't enter this house. Because, because the lamp were not shining because they lack oil, be, before going and fetch oil, the door was already closed. Verse 33 said, Commandments are lamps. Do you have already the lamps? Have you given to your children all those lamps? Whether girl or boys, the instruction that is the lamps, does this one abide in them? Are they practicing according to the commandment? When, are they doing exactly as commanded? So is the light. The one practicing the commandment accordingly, he abides in the light. He who got into his heart the reproach 
shows that he is on the way of life. Do you reproach your children? All those who are with you, do you make reproach to them? Do you show them regularly that this one is forbidden by the law? Do you do it regularly? You will set yourself on the living way and that the case of your children. If you are there hiding your sins, you will get on the way of destruction. That's why don't set your foot or feet on the way of death. Sins bring about death. We, know, we are all conscious that this one bring about death in this life. So it will be at the advent of Jesus Christ. For that reason, you shall pray and say, O oh Lord, I am one among the ten virgins that follow you. But heal me from my foolishness in order to get on the side of the wise. And when you will return to enter the kingdom of God with you. In order to make pull up my foolishness and I will be at the door. Keep this prayer in your heart and when the time comes, you shall pray. Because Jesus gave us this secret saying that the kingdom of God is comparable with ten virgins They receive lamps but five are wise and they put oil and having reserve. And the lamp was shining. And that of, that of a crazy one started quenching. And they were asking for oil. They were asking oil for the wise virgins. Since the wise didn't know the time when the husband, the husband shall come back, they said, the one that we got won't be sufficient. Go to the sellers and buy it before the arrival. The door was closed. It means that they listen in vain. Because the lamp were without oil. Because they don't receive any reprimand. If you make reproofs to a foolish one. If you try to reproach a crazy man. He will say, Her, Her perfect men were talking, or is talking to we who are not perfect. Or we know that you going straight to the kingdom of God. And uh, we are destined to the destruction. Go and be saved and uh, we will be destroyed in our turn. The, the unwise used to Give mockery to the one who is giving piece of advice. They are talking. Is it in that sense that you should address your advice to me? This is the way by which the foolish man used to talk. For that reason, let's pray that prayer. But the wise 
See and receive the importance of his reproach. And get conscious and humble himself. And repent. And he got life. And life comes to him. Reproofs coming from God lead to life. He who receives reproach has set his foot on the living life. The one who despises it will get suddenly into destruction. Read regularly this 23rd verse and see that if your foot are set on the life, on the path of life, does your, does your foot is on the living life? Verse 24 said, Teaching will preserve you from the evil woman. From the smooth tongue of the adventurous. The teaching that you kept in your heart will save you and preserve you from the evil woman. The one who used to use a smooth tongue in order to get something from you this is the power that abides in the instruction of God. It used to save from the one the evil woman. But if you don't keep it seriously, it will push you inside it. Verse 25 said, Do not desire anything about her beauty. Do not Observe her beauty. Do not let her capture you by her eyelashes. Verse 26 said, For a harlot. Because of a prostitute may be hired for a loaf of bread. And your very delicious and important life will be poured down on the ground. The kingdom of God, your life that is very precious, will be spilled out on the ground. Because an adulterer has set a trap for you. Verse 27 said, Can a man carry fire in his bosom and uh, his clothes not be burned? Who can carry fire in his bosom and his clothes won't be burned? Or can one walk upon hot coals and his feet not be scorched? 
mais so is he who goes in to his neighbor's wife none who touches her will go unpunished let the wise get conscious. The stupid and foolish will be there saying that, okay, they are expressing this one just without no result. You will be there and suddenly the judgment day will come. Nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. When it's happened suddenly, where can be? Can it be repaired? Who can repair it to you? A broken bottle. When it is broken, who can repair it on the spot? Let not the devil give us confidence while sinning. Thirty verse said. Do not men despise a thief if he steals to satisfy his appetite when he is angry. We were asked this question if a thief steals, pretending that it is to satisfy his appetite. Do we let him safely like that? No. We were asked together this question. We shall ask, we shall answer. Because of his hunger, do we let the, the thief who steals something, do we let him safely like that? That he once said. If he is caught, he will pay back sevenfold. He will pay back with all his goods in his house. Verse 32 said, Shiba. But he who commits adultery has no sense. He who does it destroys himself. Verse 33 said, Dishonor and the wounds will he get, and his disgrace will not be wiped away at all. That's why the one who is saying that 
He who used to say, it's not forbidden to commit adultery, be saying this one, even those one who, be, who are believers, be continued doing this one, the result is that he who do it, he gets wound and disorder, and his distress will never be put away. With the commandment of the Lord that you kept in your heart, you will be running away from, from sins. But if you continue doing, you will get wound and dishonor, and this one will be forever last in your life. It won't get out at all from your life. Never. Those one who are those who are those one who are deceived by the devil. Those who are writing letters through, through Android and everything concerning different This is what people are doing through selfish photos that they used to send to the neighbors showing the nakedness, doing bad things, writing letters of love, love affair, everything together. This is what they are doing, pushing up sins in this world. After sinning, the gospel of God said, the, the reward that we can get through this one will be the wound and also the dishonor that will abide with those one forever. Who would like to get this wound that will never be healed and dishonor? Who wants to receive it? If someone don't, doesn't want it? Let's run away from everything that the devil push in order to deceive people. Let's run away from all those things. This one show clearly from the beginning till now that someone who is sinning doesn't bring about peace at all. May Jesus bless each of us. Let's read this passage every time and every day with our children. Read it and read it and reread it. In order to make us stand the light till the advent of Christ. In order, to, in order not to make our lamp weepered Till the trumpet sound. May the Lord bless each of us.
Griffin run right, and this bad incident didn't get worse. And uh, this bad event didn't have impact, a very bad impact on her family, because people would like her to let Jesus Christ and come to human being and follow human being doctrine in every moment. But she refused. She categorically refused. That's why people are getting on her side, pushing, pursuing her to that limit. The second person said she liked uh, a viper in her house when it was burning to chase mosquitoes. And when she was out, someone came to warn her, saying that her house was burning. Her house was in flame. Really, when they came back, they tried by all means to enter this house in order to do the best in order to quench the fire. By entering, they noticed that some of her properties burned down. But fortunately, any of her clothes didn't burn. So God prevent the flame burning all that he owns. That's why he came here in order to testify and giving praise to the Lord for all the good deeds that he did upon the different life. In the name of Jesus, this is what they said. Glory to be to the Lord. Amen. Let everyone bow down and pray. And ask everything related to their needs. What is bothering each of us, let interested in the hand of the Lord as we want, according to our will, said it. He used to do it as such. Let's pray. In Jesus' name, our Savior. Kings of kings, we give thanks to you as you were before you are still there till today what you did in the past time you you still doing it till today he who seek you through the heart see you father each of them has asked Show them that you receive their prayers. By healing all those suffering. By blessing all the poor. Casting out witchcraft of those who are bewitched. Deliver all those who are pursued. Deliver a different trap on the way. May your Holy Spirit fill them out. Let not be fleshly things. Let each of them, spiritually speaking, let not be in need and clothed and short, provided with a different clothes. Listen to our prayers, Lord. And give out a Holy Spirit through which you can walk to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Glory be to the Lord in the heaven.